Technomancer is a game made by a group called Spiders, who had made games such as Bound by Flame and Mars Warlogs. So, as usual, let's hop at this game in 500 words or less. Please take into account that this intro and the outro do not count towards the final word count. The Technomancer is a game set on Mars, where you control our protagonist, Zachariah Mancer. He's a Technomancer, if you couldn't tell. Mancer. Technomancer. See what they did there? Actually, every Technomancer is called that. I don't quite know how to feel about this game. The wildlife of Mars is amazing, showing some of the best designed monsters I have seen in a game in recent years. But there isn't enough of them, which really sucks. Here's a few of the monsters. Honestly, the game should have been made around hunting these things. Aside from the aforementioned, there's not really a lot going for this game. The combat is stale and repetitive, the dialogue is egregious, and the story is bland. I mean, this is practically the whole of the game world, and even these areas are small and condensed, which after your 10th visit make you realise how small the world is. What's worse, these two locations are practically where you spend 90% of the game. The major problem with this game is the fact that once you travel to a city to do a quest, or to hand it in, you'll find yourself fighting the same enemies in the same locations, time and time again, and believe me, after doing this for a while, you might even wonder if this is all the game has to offer. It is. The voice acting is horrible. I could do better than this. Thank you, Scott. Will do. I promise. They're here! Lead our kind to the crypt! Save them! For being so old, it's in great condition. What exactly, Master, is inside the dome? What exactly, Master, is inside the dome? I love stories. As a voracious reader, you'd think I'd love stories. Not this one. The story in this game actually had me skipping through it not long after the prologue. Maybe it was a combination of the lackluster voice acting, or the lack of interesting characters. The combat is broken up into three styles. The quick but agile rogue style. The defensive but offensive guardian style. Or the all-rounded warrior style. I used the warrior style for most of the game. I liked the options it offered, and the versatility of it. Not really enjoying the other classes for their lack of damage or their slow attacks, it just didn't appeal to me and my playstyle. I mean, <laughs> I totally want to be doing this. The game is rather difficult at first, as you need to evade to survive. You could almost compare this feature to a Platinum game style of fighting, but there's no combos to be had here. You'll mostly be using one bun for most of the game with little variation with your other attacks which are stuns. If this game had combos, the combat might actually be better. The game also offers little to no dialogue options, giving you one or two dialogue choices for the whole of a conversation. This led me to feel less involved with conversations. Fuck off, Alan. Before I Zachariah. Okay, so I got one joke left, and um, I'll, I'll, it'll be at the very end of this video after the outtakes. But um, yeah, it's it, it's gonna go there. The Technomancer is a game made by a group of spiders. A, a group of no, not a group of spiders. The Technomancer is a game made by a group of spiders. Mancer, Technomancer. See what they did there? Actually, every tag of man. Uh, 
The major problem with this game is the fact that once you travel to a city to do a quest or hand it in, you'll find yourself fighting the same enemies in the same locations time and time again. And believe in... Uh, the major problem with this game is the fact that once you travel to a city to do a quest or to hand it in, you'll find yourself fighting the same enemies in the same locations time and time again. And I believe... And believe... And... I used the warrior style for most of the game. I liked the options it offered and the versatility of it. Not really enjoying the other classes for their lack of damage or their slow attacks. It just didn't feel a bit. I used. I used. There, fuck's sake! I. I used the warrior style for most of the game. I liked the options it offered and the versatility. Fuck! So I warned you before, this is where. I'm going to put a joke that I wanted to put into the actual video, but it was too spoilery, so here it is. It's your last chance to turn back now, but why would you watch all this way if you weren't going to turn back, so use the joke. Okay. The final boss is a penis. Just look at that, that's a dick. That's literally a dick. 